Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. A few weeks ago, I went to the US Embassy for getting the visa. So today, I wanna talk about some myths and truths about getting the visa, US Embassy, how to go, and step by step. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Okay, let's talk about going to the US Embassy. The first step you're gonna need is what you bring. You know, things you can bring to the US Embassy is pretty much limited. According to the US Embassy website, you can bring a phone and a backpack which is, you know, within the 20 centuries by 20 centuries. It's so small and the file which has the documents in there like i20, DS160 and any other type of the things you need and umbrella if it's rainy you know it's pretty much limited and things you cannot bring is like laptop, ipod, fire gun, cigarette, vaping if you want to know any other specific information i'm gonna put links in my description so feel free to check them out once you get to the u.s embassy roughly there's four sections you're gonna have the first one is the metal detector so if you have anything suspicious you are done and you get to the US Embassy there's three sections more the first one is pretty much simple submitting your files the files you have i20 DS160 passport and the previous passport if you have and any other information you have on the documents the next one is fingerprints the first you're gonna take the four of the left hand except the terms and the next you're gonna take the four of the right hands the last one you're gonna take the both of the terms you go to the next section, the last section, which is the interview. But don't really worry about this, it's pretty much simple. It won't take over the 5 minutes. They're gonna ask you, where are you going to, or what is your purpose of your travel, how much does it gonna cost, or who is going to pay your tuition, or whatever, or what is the job of your parents. What they wanna do is just double checking your information, compared by the 160 Mainly, what they want to hear is everything is on the day 160, so you don't really have to worry about it, and that is also the reason why it won't take over the five minutes. So it's pretty much easy. After the interview, they won't give you back the like visa or passport documents you had because after the day you had an interview they're gonna send you the documents with the visa so don't really worry about it after the interview you are free to go so thank you for watching this video i hope this video helps some of the international students or some who go to the u.s embassy uh, please subscribe and thumbs up and don't forget to hit the notification bell and I want to see you guys in the next videos. Goodbye.